Hello! We've got some exciting, exciting unboxings to do. We finally got our samples in for our new images. So, the first one I grabbed is this one here. Oh, dog barking. They're excited too. Good, good. Oh, hang on. I should have dusted off my table. I apologize. Let me, uh, let me do that real quick. And then we'll start over. Okay, that's a little bit better. All right, so we got our 12 new image samples in. So I'm going to do this one first. This one is, look at that little pink elephant. Oh, I love it. Uh, this is a new artist for us. Uh, she has lots of lovely artwork um, on her Instagram and I'm excited. I need to get some more images licensed so we can have fun with more of her art. Uh, but this is by Irma Van Human is how I want to say it. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, so my apologies if it's incorrect. Um, let's 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 pull this out here. All right, we have the canvas coming out here. This kit is a 50 by 50. Um, Irma's artwork is absolutely beautiful and she has all these very little delicate features. Um, lots of little, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, Every word that's coming to my mind is the wrong word. But lots of lots of details. Lots of little details. And as we know with diamond painting, sometimes the details can be lost. And so we did have some struggle in rendering this image. Um, hold on, you guys are about to fall out of the holder. There you go. Um, so that's one reason why I think I, I want to look at this one first. Um, okay, so in my... In my kit here, I have just our basic toolkit. Um, but I think the this mine came with this because um, I ordered these so long ago. But then we have actually upgraded our toolkits, so you still get everything you need, but they're just a little bit more fun, I think. But um, we have this little caddy with a. Uh, blue pad of wax and it's a little bit thicker uh, just remember if you use this wax that there is the the clear plastic that you have to pull back before using it um then we have a diamond painting pen and a little grippy if you need to have a little bit more comfort as you diamond paint. These are always hard for me to get on here, but it's it's moving. I'm kind of twisting it. You know how you twist the corkscrew on a bottle of wine? That's kind of what I'm doing. But anyway, you just keep working at it and it'll go all the way on there. You've got some nice, sharp, pointy tweezers. Now, this kit is a round drill, but it still comes with the tweezers. Um, all of our kits come with the tweezers. Uh, that's just how we decided to do it. You've got a thin plastic four and seven placer, and then your drill tray. It looks like a MOSFA, even though it doesn't have the MOSFA written underneath it, but that's really all you need to work on a diamond painting. However, if you like to add fun accessories, if you like to match your pins and your trays and everything to your, the image that you're working on, you can certainly do that. There are a lot of options out there. Um, our, our website offers pins. And we have a putty called Chit. Um, and then, of course, the diamond paintings and stuff. So, But there's loads of, loads of places out there you can look for fun accessories. All right, here we have our schematic. And this is sticker paper. Although... These are not individually cut out. You can cut them, and they're, this one happens to be a really lovely size. Hi, Opie. Opie came to say hello. 
Um, this is a really nice size, but some of the other ones, they may be a little bit smaller, depending on the, the number of colors. But in this one, we've got 29 colors, and there are two crystals and an AB. I'm seeing lots of purple and pink and blue. There is no 310 in this painting. Um, but just think of how it'd be fun to bling this up even more than the two crystals and the AB that come in it. Uh, but here, this again, this is a sticker sheet, so you can um, watch me fight with this. <laughs> There's got to be an easier way to do it, but I'm not going to put, put you through that torture. But anyway, so it's stickers. Um, they probably are not movable stickers, so you may want to like, put a bit of scotch tape on your container before you put this on there, to, just so it's easier to, to come off. Um, but then we have our shop info up here. Um, but that's not what we like to focus on. We you know, tell you where to find us. But then we like to talk about the diamond painting and the artist. Here is a copy of the original artwork. This cute little elephant. And you see there's these, this trail of stars and little sparkles coming out of the trunk up there. But also on the body of the elephant, we see down here on the leg, there's these little, really delicate white little flowers. And on the ear and the top of the head... There's some more of those little delicate flowers. At first, I'm embarrassed to say, I thought those were stars, but they're actually little flowers. Um, and this is called Pink, Cute Pink Elephant from Irma Van Heumann. It's a 50 by 50 with 29 colors, including two rhinestones and one AB. Our canvas is our port glue, and it's round drills. And then here we have where you can find Irma on Instagram. And if she has a website or a Redbubble or an Etsy shop where you can get her merch, things like that, it's probably in a link tree. And then here we have a little... Sorry. Here we have a little autobiography, some information about Irma that she sent to us to share with all of you. So there we have that. And here we have our drills. This is how they come packaged. Oh, look at that beautiful pink crystal already. Oh, right on top. Those are gorgeous. Okay, but here we see our colors. Pinks and blues. Blues and pinks. Lovely. We'll, we'll go in and we'll look at all of those here in a moment. Let me roll my canvas backward just a little bit to help it relax a little. These have had a, a long journey to get to us. It, they, these took longer than they normally do. Um, I don't know if they had some extra pit stops on the journey or what, but they're here now. So, here we go. Let's look. Okay, so as I mentioned, the rendering of all these little intricate details that Irma puts in her images, so, so beautiful, but it's difficult to translate to a diamond painting. Um, we went back and forth with this one quite a lot, the designer and myself, and um, I even spoke with Irma about it, and if we get feedback saying that, you know, People really don't like these little, the white flowers or stars as they ended up coming out on the elephant. We can re redo this one and remove those. Irma was understanding and she approved that being done if needed. But I wanted to try getting as close to the original artwork first. But here we see down here in, our, in the bottom, in the background, it's starting out the darker we've got we've got 939 down here and we've got 823 down here and then we come up into some 803 but i want to know where do these pretty little crystals go we've got dmc 602 and 603 so very very close pinks together and then the ab is uh 5200 so these crystals we've got the three dots and the number 9 okay i'm seeing number 9 Oh, and the three dots here in the elephant's trunk. Actually, all through the elephant. Oh, how cute. All through here. Oh, that's going to be really cute, I think. I'm going to have to do this one. I think. 
it, it there is confetti but there's also good color blocking too so maybe it wouldn't take too awful long and it's hard to tell but the little the sparkles and the stars coming out of the elephant's trunk they they do like this up here and that's that's going to be so, some color changing going on there uh, but the background is most of those three colors that I mentioned. The, was it 939, 823, and 803? I think it's those three. And then there's one more a little bit up there at the top. Uh, 336. Those are the four biggest colors in the background. Um, so you've got blues. It's, it's not a solid black background, even though it does kind of look like it. Um, but look how cute. Okay, and then on our canvas down here, let's just look. Um, the edges are finished, uh, surged, and scalloped. Um, that one's torn there a little bit, but the canvas should not fray. But we have our artist information. Again, we would love it if you are on Instagram and could go give our artist a follow and just show some support um, on her Instagram page. If she sells um, prints, maybe buy a couple of prints. Um, then down here on the bottom right, we changed and just put our information there a little bit, our Instagram and the website. We do have a Facebook group. Um, I can't remember why I didn't put that down here. I don't remember. But nevertheless, we still have our logo up at the center on the top. Uh, it, you see there. But look how cute. I don't even know if you guys are seeing all of it. I'm sorry. I'm out of practice with filming. And there is glare. I apologize. But it's not as bright and sunny today. So I do need the overhead light. But you can see her. Let's look up close here. It's some of the drill field. That one is that one is kind of difficult. I might need to might need to change this. I didn't catch this on the when I was checking the renders, but that's kind of dark. So that is the symbol M, which is printed with black on a dark blue background. So it's kind of difficult to see, but that's all the letter M. So hopefully that's not going to be too tricky. But you can see here in the elephant, you see the number nines and the three dots. Those are your crystals. So where's the AB going to go? The AB symbol is the check mark. Okay. That's all the flourishes, detail, flourishes is the word I was trying to, to think of earlier. All the little flourishes on the elephant, the white flowers and stars, those are the AB. Beautiful. What's the main color in this elephant? What is that symbol? What is that one? Looks like, okay, DMC 956. That pink, it looks like, is most of the elephant there. How pretty. Okay. Let's turn this over so we have some white background to work with. And let me see, I might need to zoom y'all in a little bit. Let me see. Okay. So this is how our drills come. They are packaged in baggies. So if you like to work out of baggies, you are ready to go to start working. You don't have to get up. But let's look. Okay, right here on the top, we have this. This is Crystal 603. The silver is just the backing. But you see that beautiful pink? And then this is the other Crystal 602. A little bit of a darker pink. So pretty. And then everybody's favorite AB, 5200 really pretty. I can just see all the pink and purple tones that's going to put off being next to the blues and the pinks in the canvas. All right, then let's take a look at our other colors. What do we have? We've got a mauve color. There's a purplish color. Pink, 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 pink for days. Look. That's even, that's a pink. We're still in the pinks. 956. There's that color that's mostly on the elephant's body. Look at that. Beautiful pinks. Okay, now for our background colors. We've got some 939 here, which is the darkest of the blues available. Oh, there's one little, one more little pink. 
Okay, here we go. There's some big bags, 823. Oh, we got three, three big bags of the 823. And that's still a dark blue. And then we have some 803 here. Some more blues, 791 and 792. These, these subtle color changes are what help your diamond painting to jump out at you, you know? And back in the pinks here, 718, 605, 604, 603, 602, 601. Wow. So if you like the low 600s in pinks, this just might be the kit for you because beautiful. And look, it's a square straggler stuck in there. You don't belong here, Mr. Square. And then the last of our colors, we have another... A little bit of 550 here so we've got well, we had two two purples <laughs> oh here we've got blues again so there's two big bags of 336 then we have some purple another 327 oh, a little bit of gray and a little bit more blue so look at that all right let me spread these out here and make a a visually appealing Something to look at. Opie, you gotta move your big fat head, buddy. Move. Come on, move over. I know you wanna help, but you're in the way. Look at all these pinks. I can't believe it. it's 601, 602, 603, 604, 605. And that oh that that little mauvey color, a little that little bit of that little bit of purple. Whoo. Look at that pink. Oh my gosh. Soft baby pink. Gorgeous. What's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven, Fourteen shades of pink in and plus two crystals in an AB. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, isn't it beautiful? Oh my goodness gracious! I gotta take you guys up closer. So hold on. Let's take, let's go. Let's go for a spin. Let's just look. Here we have. Look at the purples. So, so beautiful, you guys. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. Put you back in here. Okay, so let's just take a look at her one more time. Here we go. Look. So, so beautiful. And actually, you know what? I said I wanted to start this one, but I can't. Because I'm actually sending it out in the mail to someone. <laughs> so, I'll have to wait to get myself another copy of this another day. But, um, yeah. So, if you love pink in your diamond paintings. If you love adorable elephants. And if you love supporting artists and small businesses, check out our shop. Um, all of our kits are directly <laughs> mailed to you from our manufacturer. We are strictly drop shipping now. Um, and that means for you, your kit should arrive to you a lot faster. Um, now that they seem, the factory seems to be getting back on track. Hold on one moment. And then also worth mentioning is the shipping to you from China for your diamond painting is included in the price of the kit. So unless you live in North Carolina where you will be charged tax, anywhere else in the world, the price you see on the painting, that's it. Um, now, if you're international, we unfortunately can't do anything if there are any um, customs charges or M duty taxes or anything like that. But hopefully, um, that's not going to be too much of an issue for everyone. So, let me know down below what you think. Do you like this elephant? Are you excited to see our work done? We do have a computer-generated 
image of what the completed painting should look like that I will put in for you to see. And I think that's it. I'm, I really wish I had ordered two copies of this as a sample so that I could keep one. Now I'm really sad. But I'll be okay. Because I can always get one. So thank you guys for watching. And uh, have a great day. And I'll see you over on our website when you go to place your order. Bye guys.